Well, the pandemic has meant a shift away from high heels for a lot of us, me included. And as comfortable as flat shoes are, not all of them are good for your feet. Celebrity body and posture expert Dr. Liza joins us now with some tips on how what to look for. So nice to see you again. I wish you yes, were in good studio. Morning. Yes, me too. <laughs> So yes, you're talking about flat shoes and so many people think that just because a shoe is flat and it's comfortable that it's actually good for them. Now the reason why flat shoes can be so dangerous is by the time you actually start to feel the pain from them, a lot of damage has been caused. So I'm going to show you five things that you want to look for when you're shopping for flat shoes so that you don't end up suffering later on with foot pain, knee pain, back pain. Okay, so let's start off. Tip number one. Okay, so first of all, when you're choosing a flat shoe, ideally you want the shoe to have some kind of support inside. So these are the Dr. Liza flats, of course, and they have an orthotic insole and full cushioning throughout. So that way you don't have to worry about not having your arches supported. Next, you don't want a shoe that is completely flat. So although these are so beautiful, they are completely flat and don't have any heel. So what you would want is at least half an inch of the heel so that you are not completely flat and it works better with your body's biomechanics. And then the next thing you want to look for is the actual shape of the shoe. So a pointed toe, while it may look great, it can actually compress your toes together and that can lead to bunion formation, it can lead to hammer toes, and generally it can lead to a lot of foot pain. So an almond toe or something that's roomy, even a square toe where it gives your feet some wiggle room is absolutely perfect. Now, a lot of people, so flip flops, sandals, those are included when mm -hmm. we talk about flat shoes. So these shoes, so cute, but I can tell you when I would wear these, my knees and my back would just give out. So what you want to look for, if you are going to wear sandals or flip flops, is you want to wear something with a support. And another thing, it's actually okay to wear closed toe ballet flats that are supportive and comfortable to the beach, to the pool. You don't have to be in sandals or flip flops. And another thing that you want is you don't want the bottom of your shoe to be slippery. So if it's slippery, that means that the muscles in your feet have to work a lot harder and it also increases your chance of injury. So a nice rubber grip at the bottom is always a great idea. And lastly, but more, most importantly, is what I like to call the ring pad. So it's like you're wringing out a towel. What you do is you take your shoe and you try to twist it and fold it. So if you can easily fold it in half and completely twist it like a towel, that means that is a dangerous spot for you. The reason why this is so dangerous, it means that when you're walking, you're not getting the support that you need. So if you're someone who is an overpronator and you tend to roll in, you're going to result in plantar fasciitis, you can have knee pain, back pain, hip pain. So always before you buy a pair of shoes, do the ring test. And this applies for men too. So even with your boat shoes or your loafers, just give it a quick ring test. If it can do this, it's no good. Right. And so many people look for shoes that you can do that, right? Because they, oh, they fold up easy for transport or I can put them in my bag. But yeah, you've got to be thinking about what it's doing on your foot. Absolutely. Because those kind of shoes, send floods of patients to my office and they've been wearing them for years and they're saying how could these be bad they're so comfortable for me but that's the problem the damage has been occurring over time so by the time you're actually in pain and come to see someone like me you're the, you know it takes a lot of treatment to fix that so better to start off in the right shoes and don't let them bend like that Okay, very timely advice because I'm wearing my flats right now. I'm going to take them off right after the show and bend them to see if they're all right. <laughs> great to see you, Dr. Liza. Thank yes, you for joining you us. Always a great one with you. Thank you.